video that goes through some uh, practice projectile questions. Um, so the first uh, step that I'll do here is, is we'll write out the CVAT equations that are needed um, for these practice questions. So we're going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as, v equals u plus at, s equals ut plus half at squared, and s equals u plus v over 2 times t. Um, and we've got these there because you're given these in the formula sheet. So the first question we have is a projectile is, uh, is a particle is projected with speed 35 meters per second and an angle of elevation of 60 degrees. Find the time the particle takes to reach its greatest height. So you can draw out your situation that's happening. Uh, so you've got a situation like this. You're interested in the time it takes to reach the greatest height, uh, which is h. And you know that this is 35 meters per second and it's an angle of 60 degrees. So from here, um, we are just going to consider the vertical component and we're going to write S U V A T. Um, so we want our S here is what we're interested in finding, which is our maximum height, which is H. Our initial speed, so to find our initial speed, we're going to use Pythagoras because we're interested in the vertical speed only. So here we're going to do 35 and 60. And this is just going to be sine 60. Uh, we're going to call this the um, u. So sine 60 is equal to u over 35. So therefore u is equal to 35 sine 60. So our initial speed, our initial ver the vertical component of our initial speed is going to be 35 sine 60. Now the final vertical speed at its greatest height is always going to be zero. The ball stops momentarily before falling back down to earth. And our acceleration in here, we're considering upwards as positive, and the acceleration is acting downwards because of the weight of the ball acting directly downwards. And the acceleration of this is gravity, which is going to be minus 9.81. And the last thing is time, which we don't, uh, which we are interested in finding. So it's going to be t is equal to t. So in this situation, find the time it takes. We're not interested in the height, so we'll cross this one off. And we are now looking for a, a, a formula that doesn't have s, which is going to be equal, equivalent to v equals u plus at. So we're going to plug, uh, write out formula v equals u plus at. And then substitute in your values. So 0 is equal to 35 sine 60 minus 9.81t. And then from here, we just rearrange. 9.81t is equal to 35 sine 60. And then we divide through, so t is equal to 35 sine 60 divided by 9.81. Plugging the numbers in, so 35 sine 60 divided by 9.81 is equal to, so t is equal to 3.0898 seconds, so to uh, Three significant figures, which is going to pay it zero, 3.09 seconds. And that is your answer for question one. Question two, a ball is projected from a point five metres above the horizontal ground, the speed 18 metres per second, at an angle of elevation of 40 degrees. Find the height of the ball above the ground two seconds after the projection. So here in this situation, um, again, drawing it out is important because it means that we don't miss any vital information. So it's projected five metres above the ground. So I'm going to start 5 metres above the ground with a speed of 18 metres per second at an angle of elevation of 40 degrees. So angle of elevation, we did see that in the previous question, that is always the angle with the horizontal. So that's going to equal 40 degrees and it's going to be 18 metres per second. And we're interested in the height of the ball above the ground, t is 2 seconds after projection. So again, we're only interested in the height, so it's going to be S U V A T with a vertical component. Um, so we're interested in S now. One thing that we've got to remember is that our question states, find the height of the ball above the ground two seconds after. So we've also, so when we're doing our calculation here, we're only going to find, S is only going to find this height here. We also have to add five. So you put somewhere, add five to your value for S so that you remind yourself that you add that to the height. 
Um, so s is what we want to find, so it's going to be s plus 5, eventually to find our total height. Um, our initial speed, um, again we want the vertical speed, using the same method as before, is going to be 18 sine 40. If you're not sure, go back, look at the, uh, the way that we did that one, and plug in the numbers. Um, our final speed, we don't know, is v, because um, we, don't, it's not, we don't know if it's two, after 2 seconds it's max height, and in fact usually I just put a cross. Um, so that I know which formula to use. Acceleration is going to be minus 9.81 because we're projecting it upwards and taking that velocity as positive. And t is equal to 2. So from here, we're going to consider s. Um, we don't we want to use a formula that doesn't have v. So we go to our formula list. That's going to be s equals ut plus half a t squared. So we're going to put that in. s equals ut plus a half a t squared. So plugging in the numbers, we're going to get 18 sine 40 times by 2 plus a half times minus 9.81 plus 2 squared, or times 2 squared, sorry. And then just plug this in your calculator. So 18 sine 40 times 2 minus a half times 9.81 times 2 squared. Uh, and that's going to give you an S is equal to 3.52 metres. Again, this is not your final answer, because your final answer must involve uh, the fact that we started 5 metres above the ground. So our final answer, our height, is equal to 5 plus 3.52, which is equal to 8.52 metres. And that's our final value for the height. Question 3, a stone is projected horizontally from a point above the horizontal ground with speed 32 metres per second. The stone takes 2.5 seconds to reach the ground. Find the height of the point of the projection above the ground and the distance from the point on the ground vertically below the point of projection to the point where the stone reached the ground. Okay, so um, we've already got some answers here, but we'll just check that these answers are correct. So the first one we're going to do is model your situation, so draw it out. So we're going to fire a stone going horizontally, and the path it would take is something like this before it hits the ground uh, at some point. Um, so here is going to be, we know that this is 32, and we know that it's horizontal, and we know that the time it takes here to go to the ground, um, h, and we know that that takes two and a half seconds. So the first thing we want to do is find what the point of projection is. So vertical, horizontal, S U V A T. This should always be your setup for every projectiles question. If you can, if you know, for example, in the first two questions, we didn't find the horizontal because we knew we didn't need it, or I knew from experience that probably wouldn't need it. But if in this case we might need it, so we're going to put the horizontal here. So first thing to do, let's find the vertical. So we want to find the height. Um, so that's H. And um, our vertical's initial speed is zero because it's fired horizontally. Fired horizontal, there is no vertical speed. Um, we don't know anything about the final speed, so we're going to cross that one off. And we don't need it in our answer at the minute. Our acceleration, so this time I'm going to take downwards as positive because there's no vertical component going upwards, so I'm going to take, and we're also, I'm going to take S as positive, which is going down. Um, so therefore, it's going to be 9.81 as a positive. And here, we're going to time, given to us in the question of 2.5. So here I have enough values that I don't need to use the horizontal for part A. So here I could do S is H, and we're going to, again, use a formula that doesn't have V, uh, which is going to be S equals UT plus half AT squared. So plugging that in, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. It's going to be H is equal to 0 times T, so that just goes to 0, plus a half times 9.81 times 2.5 squared. And then from here, our h is just equal to a half times 9.81 times 2.5 squared, which is equal to 30.65625 metres. So h is equal to 30.7 metres to one decimal place. Um, so yeah, so the answer that was given is slightly wrong, um, because the, yeah, you make sure you round correctly. Um, and then we look for part B. Um, so part B 
is going to be uh, the distance from the point on the ground vertically below the point of projection to the point where the point to the point where the stone meets the ground. So, not a nice English question here. It's very confusing. What's it looking for? All it's looking for is basically the horizontal distance. So it's saying that well, that's the point vertically below. That's the point where it reaches the ground. What is our distance x? So this is a horizontal component. So I'm going to use the horizontal one. I'm going to leave the same. Leave, use the same SUVAT. SUVAT and just look at the horizontal in this case. So here uh, S is going to be X. Our initial horizontal speed is given in the question which is 32. Now this is the bit um, where people sometimes don't want, know what to put in here. Know that there is always in projectile questions there is no horizontal acceleration. Therefore our horizontal acceleration is zero. Now acceleration is change in velocity. So if the acceleration is zero that means there has been no change in velocity and therefore it must continue to be 32. So therefore uv is, is both 32, a is 0 and t is 2.5. From here we can use any equation we want, probably easy to use either s equals ut plus half a t squared or s equals u plus v over 2 times t. From experience, just because I know um, uh, it's going to cancel, I'm going to use s equals ut plus half a t squared because one of the terms will cancel because if we put the numbers in it's s is equal to 32 times 2.5 plus a half times 0 times t squared, so that goes to 0. So therefore s is just equal to 32 times 2.5, which is equal to 80 metres. And that's our answer for part b, and uh, the answer here is correct. Question 4, a projectile is launched from a point on a horizontal ground at a speed 150 metres. Uh, per second at an angle of 10 degrees to the horizontal by the time the projectile takes to reach its highest point above the ground and the range of the projectile. Okay, so we've got two um, slightly different questions. Uh, so we might need to do two SUVAT setups. Um, so for part, so if we draw out our whole situation that we're interested in, we've got a projectile that is fired um, from a point on the horizontal ground and it lands back again at some point. We are interested in two things, the height, the maximum height, and also the length, x. We're told that it's fired at 150 metres per second and at an angle of 10 degrees. So for part A, we're going to do S, U, V, A, T. I'm just going to start looking at the vertical, so vertical component, horizontal component. We'll start with the vertical. So S, the height, uh, maximum height we're interested in is H. U is equal to... Um, so again, using your setup here, 10 degrees, this is 150, and this is the U vertical. Um, so again, we're just going to be 150 sine 10. Again, you can memorise that. 90% of the questions will be set up like this. Um, although, yeah, just be careful, it is to the horizontal. The final speed at the maximum height is zero. Acceleration, because we're taking upwards as positive, it's going to be minus 9.81. And T is what we're interested in. Um, again, we're not interested in, so the time the project takes you to the highest point, we're not interested in S, because we're not asked to find that, we're asked to find T. So from here, we want to use an equation that doesn't have uh, S, which is V equals U plus AT. And we can see here that we can, uh, so 0 is equal to 150 sine 10 minus 9.81 T. Rearrange this quickly, so it's 9.81 T is 150 sine 10. So t is 150 sine 10 divided by 9.81. So 150 sine 10 divided by 9.81 is equal to, so t is equal to 2.655 seconds. Okay, so that gives us our answer for part A. And then it asks for part B to find the range of the projectile. Now this one, um, there is a shortcut for this one. So again, to find the range of the projectile, S, U, V, A, T, and we've got vertical and horizontal. So let's start building up the horizontal one. Um, so the horizontal one is X. Our initial speed is going to be 100. So again, initial speed is this one. It's going to be the cosine. So it's 150 cosine 10. Our final speed is equal to 150 cosine 10 because our acceleration is zero. Remember, horizontal acceleration is always zero. Now, T could argue we don't know what t is because it's a new situation. We're not looking at, we're going from here to here this time. However, one thing to note that in some situations, it's actually um, a, 
uh, symmetrical one. So you could say that t is equal to 2 times 2.655. Um, so that would give you uh, an answer of 5.31. Um, I'm going to prove it's going to be that one, but in the future you can make that assumption. So it's going to be 5.31 is equal to t. But at this point here, I'm just going to write t here. So we don't have enough components here to actually find what our range is because if we plug any of these into the equations they will either cancel out or not work. So here we're going to have to find what t is using the vertical one. So to do this we're going to say well s is equal to zero because it's starting from the ground and going back to the ground so there is no change in vertical height. Our u is the same as before 150 sine 10. Our final speed we don't know. Our acceleration is minus 9.81 and time is equal to t. So we're going to produce an equation that doesn't have v. So it's going to be s equals ut plus a half a t squared. So 0 is equal to 150 sine 10 t minus 9.81 t squared. And from here we can take out a factor of t. So it's 0 equals t 150 sine 10 minus 9.81 t. And then from here we can say, well, t equals 0, which is the starting point, which we know, or 0 equals 150 sine 10 minus 9.81t. We arrange this, we get 9.81t. Oh, half, sorry, 2 over 2. Sorry, missed that bit out. So 9.81. So that was going to be uh, 9.1 over 2 equals 150 sine 10. And then we can rearrange this, so t is equal to 300 sine 10 divided by 9.81 so 300 sine 10 divided by 9.81 is equal to 5.31 so t is 5.31 seconds so here you may forget to use this so again i'm just doing it a long way just in case you forgot you know you don't use this you don't remember the shortcut in the exam but here t is equal to 5.31 seconds again we know this because it's symmetrical um, so here, this is 5.31 seconds, 5.31 seconds. And then from here, we can use any um, equation to find our distance. So s equals ut plus a half a t squared. Um, so that's going to be uh, x is equal to 150 cos 10 times 5.31 plus a half times 0. So therefore, we just plug that into our equation, 150 cos 10 times 5.31, which is x is equal to 784.4 meters. And that's our answer for 4b. Okay, the last question we have is question 5. A particle is projected from a point 0 on a horizontal plane with speed 20 meters per second at an angle of elevation of 45 degrees. The particle moves freely under gravity until it strikes the ground at a point x. Find the greatest height above the plane reached by the particle by the distance OX. Okay, so question five. Um, I'm going to do this here. I'm going to fire out one. So this is 45 degrees uh, with a speed of 20 meters per second. And we know that it moves freely in the ground until it strikes the ground at point X. So we assume that the ground is level, so it's going to strike at some point here. And this is at X. So first of all, find the greatest distance above the plane reached by the particle. So S, U, V, A, T, vertical. So here we want to find our vertical distance, which is H. Um, so this is H. U is going to be 20 sine 45. Our final velocity, because we're trying to find, so here we're only considering the maximum height part of our situation, so here our final velocity is going to be 0, our acceleration is minus 9.81, and our t is unknown, and we're not interested in finding the t here. So from this point here, to find the greatest height, we're going to use the equation without t, which is just v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So it's 0 squared is equal to 20 sine 45 all squared plus 2 times minus 9.81 times h. And from here we can just solve from here. So 0 is equal to 
20 squared sine as you put it all together as a bracket rather than writing it individual out it's easier to write this uh sorry easier to keep it all in the bracket so 20 sine 45 or squared minus 9.81 times 2h rearrange this so it's going to be um 9.81 times 2 is 19.62 so it's going to be 19.62 h equals 20 sine 45 or squared and then divide through by h is going to be 19.62 oh i'm sorry no ignore that that is um oh no no it was fine sorry um uh v squared yeah zero yeah okay that was fine sorry um, it was all good. So 19.62 um, equals, uh, so let me just rewrite that. Sorry, so h is equal to 20 sine 45 all squared divided by 19.62. And then we can plug that into our calculator. Sorry about that. So remember to put your bracket around it. So it's bracket 20 sine 45, close bracket, close bracket squared divided by 19.62. And that gives you a height equal to 10.19 meters okay so that gives you your first uh, part a and then part b um, we give a ox as uh, so a five meter grade distance ox so again s u v a t vertical and horizontal so we're going to say that this distance from the origin to big x is just equal to x u is going to equal 20 cos 45 because again that's the Standard for the horizontal is a standard question. So here we're going to take this as 20 cos 45. Again, look at the previous questions, how we derived this. And then acceleration is equal to zero and t is equal to t. So here, again, you can try and do the formulas out, but they won't work. So here we're going to have to find t from the vertical component. So here, again, we are not the same as a. It's going to be a different setup because we're going from zero to x. So vertically, there's no change in heights at zero. The initial speed is still 20 sine 45. The final speed we don't know. Acceleration is minus 9.81 and t is equal to t. You could suppose find the answer from find t from the first part of the question from part a and then double that because it's again it's a symmetric situation but you could also just find t again using this situation. So again it's s is equal to ut plus half a t squared because it's the only formula without v Plug in your values, so 0 is equal to 20 sine 45 times t minus a half times 9.81 t squared. Take out factor of t, so it's 0 equals t bracket 20 sine 45 minus a half times 9.81 t. And then from here, just rearrange and uh, solve. So 9.81 over 2 is 4.905. Uh, so 4.905 t is equal to 20 sine 45 and then t is equal to 20 sine 45 over 4.905 20 sine 45 over 4.905 is equal to so t is equal to 2.88 seconds from here we know that this is 2.88 so we're going to use the same value here, 2.88, those two are interlinked. And from there, we just say, well, um, for the horizontal one, we can use any equation to find S. So S equals UT plus half AT squared. So it's going to be X is equal to 20 cos 45 times 2.88 plus half times 0, so that's 0. And therefore, X is equal to 20 cos 45 times 2.88 which gives an answer of 40.73 meters. And that's the end of these questions. If you have any further questions, please let me know.